Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will discuss about Azure Biceps variable and output. We will learn how do you define the variables, when you should define the variables and how do you use the output to use within your Biceps file. Before we start, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the notification for all my video which I'll be uploading on this channel. Let's start with demonstration. So this is the biceps file which we have used so far in our previous demonstrations. So I'm going to continue with the same. I have opened this in my Visual Studio code. So in the last demonstration, we have learned about the parameters, how do we declare and define the parameters with Azure biceps. We'll continue the same file to discuss the variables and output as well. Just to recap, last time we have seen that how do we define the storage account resource with biceps uh, with the help of certain number of variables or certain number of parameters. And now have a look at how do we define the variable. First of all, let's understand why do we need the variables and why not the parameters. So parameters, as I mentioned in my previous video, you should use the parameter if you have a requirement to basically you should use the parameter when you would like to change certain number of properties of your template at the runtime or at the execution time for example if i would like to create a storage account with different uh, configuration for example a storage account of could be premium sku or it could be standard lrs grs or ra grs in the case of a storage account so if i have such requirement to change that kind of a configuration then i should declare those con configuration in parameters but if if you would like to write a logic which has some uh, complex algorithm or complex uh, programming structure which you want to calculate within your uh, arm template or json template or in the batch of template then you should use the variables what do i mean by that for example, this storage account resource type is having certain number of properties and if you look at the name, at the moment I have hard coded the name, but I would, uh, if I would like to change this name by let's say auto calculate it within my template itself or randomly generate this storage account name because I know it, it has to be unique. So there are two options, I can pass the parameter as a storage account name as a parameter or I can calculate the storage account name uh, or generate the storage account name randomly with the help of variable. For that, let's first of all understand how do you declare the variable. To declare a variable, like you have used the parameters, similarly you use the var keyword and then you define the instance name of your variable. For example, I'll call the storage account name in this case and then you can define the storage account name or the variable values here. Uh, you define the value. This is how you declare the variable and then you can use the variables like that. Okay. Similarly, I can use the uh, any other type of variable as well. For example, let's say I have a variable called network allocation, for example. And now I would like to set these values. I'm just giving you a hypothetical name here. So this is how uh, of object type of variables which are object type of configuration which I have defined for the story account. Now if I would like to set this as an as an storage account variable then this is what I can do. Define the variable called the network this and then basically you can set up the variables values. You can just simply copy this and then I would like to just use it like this and then now Simply, I can replace this as it, as it is, okay? So this is example number one, okay? So this is how uh, I can declare the variable as well. In fact, here on the storage account name, at the moment, again, it is hard code, but I can do, what I can do here is I can use the interpolation and I can use, let's say, the another variable called this as in, Story account prefix, prefix, use the prefix value as an st, and here I can use that which is as a prefix, and after that I can use the parameters or the functions within that 
so there is a function called unique string that's the one and i can generate the unique string out of let's say resource group name from this string generate a unique string and then once the unique string is will be generated that is going to be appended or appended to these uh, st prefix and this is how it's going to look like so this is the definition of the variables you can basically uh, define the variables like that or you can define the uh, perform some calculation to your variables i can also do it like this for example uh, in the network configuration i could do uh, let's say i will define a parameters as an ip rules ip rules as an array and then ip rules basically they can pass the array and what now i can do here is they can use it like this okay so whoever is basically passing the or calling this particular template they have to provide the ip rules value i can define the default value of this array as an empty similarly i can do the virtual network configuration rule as well and then i can define the value as an empty okay so they have to provide the value if they provide it well and good if not then it will set the empty or the default value as is so let's say it says the default allocation method is missing here so that's it this is how we declare a variable so now if i try to compile it with the az biceps command bicep bin and then i need to provide the file name which is to a account that will generate the uh, template so that we can validate how our variable is being used or transformed in form of the arm template so have a look at this generated file or compiled file in the arm format so you can see that the variables or the parameters are as is which we have declared and now we have added some additional parameters which has the default value apart from that these are some variables which we have uh, we have added so this is our storage account prefix and then the storage account name which we are building so if you look at the interpolation which we have used here in the variable section like this it has been converted to our arm template like this with the help of format functions so internally the interpolation basically has been converted into a format function and now format has two parameters one is the storage account prefix which is coming from the variable and then then you have the unique string which is generated from your resource group name itself next you have the uh, network block which is again reading some values from the parameters and then some of them which we have set by default as per our organization's policy and this is how we are using the network section or the network configuration of your story account with the help of this variable this way you can use the variable with within the biceps configuration okay uh, again you can define the set of the variable properties like this you can see the difference between the parameters and variables in the when you declare a parameter you have to define the type of the parameter right whereas when we declare variables by default it becomes the object type you don't need to specify the type itself okay that's one of the difference now quickly let's look at the output variable so there are some scenarios when you have a requirement to retrieve the value or certain number of property attributes for the resources if you have such requirement then you can export those properties or attributes with the help of output variable so how do you declare the output variable you can declare the output variable with the output command and i am getting the intelligence as i am using the biceps extension so now if i just press tab you need to specify the identifier so let's say i would call this storage id for example and then obviously it is going to be a type of string so what i can do now is i can use str which is the instance name of my storage account which is this one so because i would like to retrieve or export the attributes of this resource type which is of the storage account so i'm using this instance and then you can see that i have different number of properties available for my storage account type which i can basically export it okay so let's say i could say the storage account id this is going to be the output of the resource id for the storage account next i would like to retrieve a property for example a property of the storage account so this let's see how do we get the property as well so let's say allow 
probably get this. I'm just giving any name. Just get, get an idea. Now this time what I'm going to do is these are the direct properties available within the storage account which you can get it directly with the instance name but there are some object type of property which are available within the properties section itself so if I will go and expand the properties attribute and then after the properties attribute you have those different properties available which you may want to export as an output attribute or output type of variable so let's say in this case I would like to retrieve the allow public access type it is giving you the error because the variable type which we have declared is this we have declared as a type of a string and this is a returning type of boolean so this is a good thing about the biases it is basically while you are coding basically it is giving you the intelligence that you may get the error and so you are getting a warning or error immediately when you are using and as soon as I change the value of this property type it is automatically resolved the error so now if I run the biceps command again so I should have the RM template with the output two output type attributes which I have used in my biceps template so if I just open the RM template.json file and you can see that this is the output which we have received so now whenever you are getting or you are calling this particular template you would get the output variable I'll show you in a moment when I am going to deploy this particular template so let let's go and use our biceps command to deploy this particular template into our resource pool so I'm going to use this command which is az deployment group and create group names it is scope to the resource group and create under this particular resource group and then use the biceps file which is this particular file itself okay let me just verify if I do need to pass certain number of parameters no i don't need to pass because there are all my parameters have some default value so i'm good with that if you do require to pass certain number of parameters which are mandatory for example i think i need to pass the location value as well so in such cases you need to pass the parameter file so let's say parameters and then you need to specify location equals to let's say east us is my story account is looking for this particular parameter to pass rest of them are anyways optional so let's see if it works so at the moment uh, you see that on the deployment command I haven't provided name of my deployment you can provide the name of the, your deployment as well so when I go to my deployments of the story account uh, resource group so when I go to the resource group where I'm trying to deploy the story account if I expand the deployment section here, I should have a new deployment running. You can see that this particular deployment is being succeeded just a moment ago. And if I just open this, this is the deployment look like. These are the different inputs which we have passed. This is our output. So as we have seen that we have specified two output variables. So this is the outcome of those output variables which has been created. So this uh, this is how it looks like if, if you want to have a look at the entire ARM template which has been deployed as part of that particular deployment you can get the information right here from this particular section so the output which we have used you can find this output obviously this output may you may want to use it somewhere else in your templates that's what you can do with the output okay and now if I look if I look at uh, the deployment outcome which is the story account this has been created and you can see that it has a prefix as an st and then there is a random string which has been generated here okay that's about the variables and output with azure biases we have learned how do we define and declare the variables within the biases to auto calculate some of the properties how do we combine the parameters with variables with the help of interpolation or with the help of object properties and we have also seen how do we declare the output variable to get the output of certain attributes within your biceps resource type. I hope this was useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you soon in the next biceps video. Thanks for watching it.